up you guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to be upgrading the sound system or at least the head unit inside of christine's s14 um, we're going to go with the same head unit that we have in the truck uh, this is an ototo a6 we like it so much that we ended up purchasing this with our own money um, the one in the truck was sponsored to us so again thank you guys or thank you ototo for making such a good product that we went out and purchased it with our own money uh, if you guys want to go ahead and buy one we'll have a link down in the description uh, for this exact head unit. so i already went ahead and heat shrinked and soldered all my connections here this is an adapter harness so that way i didn't need to splice into the factory harness and keep all the plugs so this is the head unit here as soon as you open it up you get your microphone your usb cables and all of that goodness at the top as well as a gps antenna I believe this is like a screen protector or something. You have a bracket. And then you have the actual head unit right here. This thing is nice, all right? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is disassemble the inside. So let's go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and disassemble this. If you guys have an S14, you pretty much just need to remove your shift knob, take off this shift bezel right here, be careful not to break anything just like that put it in the safe place because the older this car gets the harder it is to find these pieces especially in good condition all right pull off your harnesses in the back here just like that <clears throat> now oh <laughs> there's no screws here there's no screws on here that's interesting there's no screws anywhere in the back. Wow, there's no screws holding anything on here. <laughs> this car is just getting a little bit more interesting every time we dig deeper into it. Wow. I mean, at least it's all here. But yeah. Where's all the screws at? Oh, it's broken. <laughs> this. Oh, they probably tried to rip it out. That's why. Oh, because they're on top here. Okay, well, I mean, and it works, <laughs> but it's just broken. Yeah. Okay, so I hope they didn't splice into the rear. Okay, it looks like everything is there. So we're just gonna go ahead and unplug this head unit just like this. Remove this antenna. Then we're gonna take the harnesses and plug them in. We got both of these plugs in. All we have to do is ground the chassis ground and then uh, plug this into the rear of the head unit. So let's go ahead and take this out and then mount the head unit to this brackets right here. I'm pretty sure like they probably had like an aftermarket head unit in here before. Uh -huh. <sighs> we need a different So we're gonna go ahead and install an aftermarket steering wheel into Christine's car. Um, it's pretty easy on these cars actually. There's probably like two bolts, and then the center bolt, and then the whole steering wheel assembly comes off and then you can put in your new assembly. So we're gonna go ahead and start that right now. I do have more in-depth videos on top of my channel if you guys wanna look into that. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. Yeah, put it somewhere where it's not going to hit connection again. You don't want to come into the car. I recommend just stepping on the brake a few times just to make sure all of the voltage or all of the power is gone. All right, so now on this car, you're going to come around and you're going to see if you see this little tab open right here, we're going to pop that open. Just stick a flat blade here, open it up, pop it open. You're gonna see the security torque bit right there. There's one, and there should be another one on this. There you go. Right there is the other torque bit that you wanna take out. There's security torque bits and they're T50s. So you're gonna wanna get a T50 torque bit. So if you guys are wondering what a T50 looks like, it looks like this. You see how there's like a hole in the center? That's because there's a dowel pin, something like that, in the center of the actual bolt. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. All right, I'm actually gonna see if I can unplug this because I do not want this thing to go off in my face. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this side right here. That being unbolted, we should be able to pull out this airbag right now. 
to remove this you're gonna remove this nut right here but not all the way because when you go ahead to bang the steering wheel you do not want to pull the steering wheel straight into your face i've never hit my face before and i don't want to start today so as far as the cruise control goes there should be a harness here i wonder if this is the harness we're gonna go take our 19 millimeter stick it on here um if you guys notice i have the steering wheel clicked to the side so the steering wheel lock is on so that way when i go ahead and remove the bolt the steering wheel just doesn't spin with it so i'm gonna go ahead and break this bolt loose Ah, so easy. Aww. Good thing I'm so strong. <laughs> okay. So since this is Christine's car, we're gonna make you pound this thing out. Okay, go. There it goes. Oh, there. Okay. So now undo the bolt. There you go. Okay. Put that on the side. We don't need that. Um. Now, as far as the clock spring goes, I don't know if we leave this on or take it off. I think I took mine's off. So we're gonna remove the clock spring. So Christine's gonna go ahead and remove the Phillips screws that are holding the steering column cover on. Once you get all the screws, you just pop it down. Oh. Don't break it what now. What about the ignition thing? Uh, the, the ring comes out, yeah. Okay. And you just pop it over the side of it. It's just four Phillips screws around the perimeter of the clock spring for the airbag. Right there, pop off oh. that wire. Oh shoot, uh, follow it underneath. There's gonna be a clip. It's, it's one of those weird clips. Oh, sorry. I don't know, it's your car. <laughs> Is that supposed to do that? I don't know, they pop the back. Yeah, okay. there you go. Okay, so keep that, don't break that. So while Christine is reinstalling the steering column cover, I'm gonna just show you guys what steering hub we are going with. It is this boss kit from eBay. So before you guys talk crap about this eBay special, just know that we've both ran this boss kit in both of our 240s back home and had no issues whatsoever. So, we're gonna go ahead and use this again. Let's go put this on. Okay, so you're gonna figure out which hole matches up with the actual hub because there's two sets of holes on there. Okay, okay, that one, same. okay. So remember that hole right there. Typically, you want your car wheels to be straight on the steering wheel. We're gonna have to roll the car back and forth later. Most cars, there's an indicator on top of the actual steering shaft here. If you see, there's a line right there. It's pointing that way. Um, if you guys remember, I had to turn the steering wheel just to get it to lock. So uh, that more than likely is going to be your top dead center on your steering shaft. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, put the bolt on it. Uh, just so it doesn't go back and forth. Tighten it down. So now what she's going to do is she's going to bolt up the steering wheel to the hub. And then she's gonna leave the horn out. That way we can adjust the hub with the steering wheel still on so we can figure out where straight is. There. Okay, so bolt it up just like that. Okay guys, so this is the dilemma that we have on this radio. These two bolts are like seized in there. They will not come out and they're about to strip. So we might have to drill these out, but we're gonna go ahead and continue to try and take these out. We have them soaking in WD-40. We don't really care about this OEM head unit because, I mean, it works. It works fine. Nothing's wrong with it, but we're going to put that thing in. Even the EQ and all that, it works on top of this thing. Figure this out. Figure out where straight is, and we should be good to go. Yes, guys, we just broke free the chains of this stupid screw. This one not said it didn't even have bolts. <laughs> it in. Like any bolt. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the car now. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in all these accessories. This, I believe, is gonna be the GPS antenna. A tip is for a cleaner install, this actually doesn't need to be mounted outside the dash, just mounted like on the back of this or in inside the dashboard somewhere. This is gonna be the Wi-Fi because this is an Android head unit. So there is apps and you use it for GPS as well. Let's stick this here. So let's just check the fitment on this. The thing is, though, there's no bolt. <laughs> okay, guys, so normally we would bolt this up onto the actual bracket, but the backing, I guess, is broken. <laughs> As you can see, like, the screws are, are broken. So we're going to go ahead and just see if this will fit over it. It looks like it fits. We're going to need a little trim piece, but it's actually not that bad. Like, the gap 
it's just on the top and the bottom it might be actually okay like you know like it won't, it's not yeah. that big of a deal you might actually just leave it like that all right you guys so that's gonna be it for today's video the interior is looking good on this car but don't worry the z videos We'll be back very soon. So stay tuned for that. We love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. And we'll catch you guys in the next Baby. one. Peace out and stay calm.